Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more number program that is a fascinating number. So first let us see what is a fascinating number and then we'll see the logic in Python. So here we need to consider the three digit number and if it is the number is if, if the number is a three digit then only we can check for the fascinating. So other than the three digit number we can't check for the fascinating number. That's the first point. So let me write here. So the first point is fascinating number check can be done for three digit number only. So if not three digit number, we can't check for the fascinating number. Then if it is a three digit number, we need to find the product of that number with the two and three. That means I multiply the number with the two and three. And we need to concatenate that number with both the multiplications of two and three, such that the result should contain the numbers from one to nine exactly once. Then we call it as a fascinating number. So the second point is multiply, multiply a number with two and three. And the third point, concatenate, concatenate number with results of results after multiplying with two and three the fourth one is we need to check whether the result result after concatenation having one to nine in any order in any order exactly once exactly once so this we can say then we can say it as a fascinating number right the first point the fascinating number check can be done only for the three digit number and first we need to multiply the number with two and three and concatenate that number with the results after multiplying with two and three and result of after concatenation should have one to nine in any order exactly once let us take an example let us take an example so 273 is a number is a number right is a number now we need to check 273 into 2 into 2 and 273 into 3 so what would be the result here right so let us find that product 273 into 2 is 546 and coming to 273 into 3 it, it is 819 right now we have to concatenate concatenate results results see here the result 273 that number plus 546 plus 819 concatenation right so then we'll get 273 546 819 so here you can see in this concatenation we can see all the digits from 1 to 9 exactly once you can observe here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so here we need to check after concatenation the length length should be 9 length should be 9 and count of digits digits should not be greater than 1 and count of digits should not be equal to 0 so then we can say it as a fascinating number right so fascinating number can be checked only for the three digits we need to multiply with the two and three and uh, concatenate the results so that we have to get all the digits from one to nine exactly once we'll see the logic once 
now by executing the program so we'll we'll execute the program in python so first let me take the uh, number by using the input function so n is equal to in of input enter number so i'm taking some number now we need to check the length of the thing right so i will convert this into a string i will convert this into a string so s1 is equal to str of n and check this one so if the length of or directly we can check i will i will check directly if the length of str of n not equal to 3 not equal to 3 print fascinating number check can't be done right else else what we have to do we have to uh, get the results right different results so n1 is equal to n n2 is equal to n into 2 n3 is equal to n into 3 so what we have to do we have to check get the result right so result is equal to we have to concatenate all these things so str of n n1 plus str of n2 plus str of n3 right so you can simply add this one so print uh, result so you can observe let us take 273 uh, just a thing because boolean has no length function okay let us take some l is equal to length of str of m okay sorry sorry yeah yes yeah, not given. you can observe here yeah. yes 273 so we got the number right you can see n1 n2 n3 we have concatenated all the things so we got the result 2 7 3 5 4 6 8 1 9 so all are equal now what what we have to do in the next step we have to compare the length right we have to compare the length so simply uh, use the for loop for number in result so result is a string right type of result is a string so i am checking each and everything so we have to check if the length of sorry if the length of result is not equal to 9 it should not be a fascinating or or a result dot count of number everything is greater than 1 or a result dot count of number is equal to 0 okay so what we can simply say uh, initialize the flag flag is equal to one and break so if there are any deviation from this one so if the length is not equal to nine it's not a fascinating if the count of each number is greater than one it's not a fascinating and if the count of that particular number is equal to zero that means the number is not there not present in the particular string so then also we the fascinating it's not a fascinating number right so if if any one of this condition is true automatically the flag will be set to one and we have to break and after that uh, simply here check the flag so if if the flag is equal to is equal to one print not fascinating number so it's not a fascinating number because it it doesn't uh, follow the uh, rules right so n is not a fascinating number and simply else we can simply say that n is fascinating number so initialize the flag here so i'll go with the flag here so i'll initialize the flag flag is equal to zero initially so you can observe here 273 so we got 273 is a fascinating number because here you can observe there is no zeros i mean there is no a repetition of these numbers and the length is 9 and you can also go with the one more number 123 so 123 123 is not a fascinating number because here 2 is appeared 2 times 3 is appeared 3 2 times 6 is appeared 2 times and similarly 
uh, five is missing seven is missing and eight is missing so we have to get all the digits at least once exactly once not at least exactly once right so see 189 it's also a not a fascinating number so like this we can check the fascinating number so first uh, uh, we are checking for the length if length is not equal to the zero uh, three we can simply say that see yeah, we go with the 12 so fascinating number fascinating number check can't be done because the d number of digits is only two so it is only applicable for three digit three digit number so else simply we can go with this one so n1 is equal to n n2 i am giving the multiplication with the two and n3 is the result of multiplying with three and the result uh, i am taking the result by concatenating all these things so before concatenation i am just applying the string function so that the number will be converted into a string and i am initializing a flag to zero and i am now checking each and every element of that particular result taking each and every element of that particular result and finding these conditions so if the result is not equal to nine simply we can say it is not a fascinating and we are finding the count of the number so if the count of number is greater than one because the count should be exactly once so if the count of number uh, is greater than one so we have to uh, i mean uh, the, we can say that it is not a fascinating number and if the count is zero that means if there is any missing number then also we can say it is not a fascinating so we are initializing the flag to one and we are just break the loop and after the loop we are checking with the flag based on the value on the flag we are declaring the result if the flag is equal to one that implies any one of the these condition is true right the result may the length may be not equal to nine and the result of count may be greater than one or is it zero so like this we can simply find the fascinating number whether the given number is a fascinating number or not Right. So hope you understood this one and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you are really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.